good morning my name is jen if you haven't already like and subscribe i just woke up i finally got some sleep ever since i came back from dallas to houston i've just been so exhausted i worked throughout the weekend and while i was working i was also packing all my stuff because i was moving it's just been so hectic and then that monday right after movers come in oh my gosh movers if you guys are considering hiring movers and look at the price, you think, hey, movers are a little pricey. Yes, it's all worth it. Trust me. Trust me. You don't want to be the one moving these heavy dressers, your bed. They dissemble all your furniture for you. They put it back all for you. You just sit there, kind of direct them where to go. They were literally lugging all of our furniture up and down these three floors. I honestly don't understand how they do it, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna give them a shout out because they were so good. H-Town Movers, they were also one of the cheaper rates than all the other movers I found, and they're highly reputable, and they did very, very well. Like I said, it's been good 12 hours of sleep. I am awake, and I feel energized and ready to go. I'm gonna kind of walk you through a little bit of my morning routine, so let's go on to that. First things first, hmm. the place is really messy, so I can't really show you guys everything. I have to still do dishes. Like I said, life has been so freaking busy. The last thing I wanted to do was dishes, and I told myself I was going to do this morning because I had the time to, so yeah. I'm making some breakfast and some yogurt, but while that's going on, I'll wash my dishes and do other things. But let's start. First, we go into my medicine drawer. So I have tons of medicine here. What I really found helpful is really hard for me to like go through this. So what I ended up doing is kind of like have one space where these are the medicines I can quickly grab and go to, especially this first drawer. What I've been taking every day is these one a day woman vitamins, some hair and nails. I should move from gummies to tablets, by the way, but I just need to finish this one right now. Iron pills, so taking one iron pill there. The gummies are so good though. But you should probably grow up a little and switch to these tablets, which I did last time. So even vitamins, I used to take gummy for the longest time. Oh, for me, I don't really have to take water with my vitamins. Just kind of plop it into my mouth. I'm gonna drink water, don't worry. And then my peels. Personally, only like my water boiled. This is what I take daily. This is the green juice. It has vitamin C and K. Wow, reading backwards is kind of hard. Two servings of fruits and veggies and seven. I should just look here. Okay, seven nutritious greens. I'm pretty much almost done with this, but I have a new container. I always usually buy two or three of everything, just so, just in case. So I have another bottle here. Yay! For this little blend, last of this green powder, like a little spoonful. Mix, 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 mix. There is some weird lighting here. It kinda tastes like matcha. It's really, really easy to drink. Don't waste any of it. This stuff's a little expensive. So yummy. Okay guys, now let's go back to the water we boiled. It's gonna be really hot right now. Every time I drink out of this, I just get so happy. These are my two doggos. That's Bentley here, and that's Oreo, the best friend. And this cup is just so cute. My water is really hot right now, so I'm just gonna let this settle while I do other things on the side. But have you guys tried the egg muffins at Starbucks or Costco? Both egg muffins, they are so delicious. I could pop those in my mouth and eat those all day, every day, every single breakfast if I wanted to. And so I decided, you know what? I think these are actually really easy to make. Something whenever you're eating at a restaurant or if you eat something, you're just like, I bet this costs me really nothing to make. 
So that is why I was inspired. It is, yeah, not worth it to buy. It is very worth it to make at home, especially if you have some eggs just left over. And not only that, they're very high in protein. You can choose whatever ingredients you wanna put into it. And you know, you can either make it very healthy, very hefty, very filling. You can make it however you want. It is like a DIY of egg muffin or whatever ingredients you have. I don't have too much. I'm just gonna make do with what I have, okay? First things first, you want to set your baking settings at 350. So convenient, these silicone ones. You don't have to put any of like the non-stick spray onto it. It immediately just like pops open. Now, if you have one of these, you want to place it onto a baking tray like this. So there's some sturdiness to it. And you want to also put some water on the edges. I saw some people putting water on like the bottom of these pans too. Water is essential because it helps the egg muffins lift. I'm not going to use filling these up with water. Whatever you have in your fridge. I have some mozzarella cheese, salt and pepper. You need to have eggs, of course, depending on how many egg bites you wanna make. So since I'm making six, I'm gonna to need to use six eggs. I add tomato, carrots, cilantro, green onions, and then you can use whatever meat, sausages, spam, chicken, whatever you want. But bacon's very good as well. And we place it on here and let's start making it. So these egg muffin bites are pretty small. So I'm thinking like maybe, hmm, I'll just make two strips. Let's make these babies. Loki always kind of scares me to make bacon because it's like kikita, which is like flat onto your face, the oil. But the smell is so amazing here. Get all this oil off, patting it down. Bacon is so bad for you, honestly. It's just so yummy. And I'm gonna cut it all up. green onions, cilantro, carrots, and tomatoes. Crack six eggs in there. Making six of these. I can be a pro and crack this with one hand. Yes! Whisk it all up with all our ingredients. Now I can just throw in everything. The smaller, the better. Let's all of that up. Now we're gonna throw these into the oven. In the middle, stick that in there for 20 minutes. All this is making, I'm gonna do some dishes. Wow, look at this. Now we're gonna let this settle for about five minutes. I'm gonna make some yogurt. I either alternate from oatmeal or yogurt every single day. I used this banana yesterday, so I'm gonna use banana. I always use this specific yogurt because I love the clean ingredients in it. Chia seeds, almond, or whatever else I have. On the side, I'm not gonna make too much. I'm gonna make about two scoops of this. I'm gonna add in a third, just pour it into there. I like a lot of chia seeds, almonds, very thin slices into there. So there we have it. This is our little yogurt bowl. If you see, I literally bedded all of the yogurt with chia seeds. I like a ton of chia seeds on there. Not as pretty, but it's delicious because it's something sweet on the side. I have to drink my coffee an hour after I wake up, so now it's a good time. Options I have pumpkin spice, gingerbread, roasted hazelnut. I'm thinking roasted hazelnut today. So let's do that. Stick it in my little Nespresso pot in there. Coffee time. Let me show you how easily you could pop these silicone ones. Look. Look at this. She's beautiful. Breakfast. I'm gonna only take two to eat but just kind of wanting to show the final product. Protein packed breakfast, snack, meal, whatever. I'm really hungry, so let's eat now. I do not know where my journal is right now because everything's in boxes. So it would just be reading time and now it's my time. Usually I would use Tabasco sauce. We have sriracha only today, so put some sriracha on there. Little bit of that sauce. Mm. 
all for those that watch this video. This morning, we just focused on meals. My day has just gotten started. It's time to actually eat, sit down, read, and I hope everyone has a beautiful, great day and rest of the week as well. Bye. Tip, shout out Ingrid. She likes to eat these with avocado on the side. So definitely next time when I have avocado, I will be doing that. Thank you, Ingrid. Passing drugs on the